Hello all, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with a video update for this 1-6 scale German 222 armored car project. Since the last video update, progress has been made to the model's front and rear differentials and they have been completed and mounted to the frame. For those who do not know what a differential is, the differential is the component on a vehicle that takes the output from the transmission and then distributes that to the road wheels. Unlike a standard automobile where the differential is not connected to the frame and is held up either by leaf springs or shock absorbers, on the 222 that's not the case. On the 222 and even on the Puma the differentials are, mount are fixed permanently to the frame nice and secured and the wheels are then held off on two on two swing arms and these swing arms is what gives the vehicle its articulation. Everything is all connected with a universal joint that would then flex with the suspension. This is true for both the front and rear differential. Here's the underbelly of the frame and we can see the detail that has been added to the differentials on both the top and under portion of the components. These components have been added to the East Coast Armory.com product line and come in a set for the rear and front differentials. Before the differentials could be mounted to the frame, holes needed to be drilled through the frame rails for both the front and the rear differentials. These holes here are for the drive shafts that connect the differential to the wheels. Here go the differentials before they get mounted into the frame. This one here is the front differential. And this one here is the rear differential. I built into the differential the ability to make the axles pivot. Also, what's built into the uh, to the sets are functional U joints or universal joints. If we notice that the universal joint is missing its other half, this is because to fit it to the frame, it will be a lot more difficult to install it with the drive shafts protruding outward. Th those pieces are going to be added after the installation of the differentials and after the installation of the swing arms. The set is offered in two different options. The first option is a static set which basically the pieces are all unassembled and are all the housing itself is solid. It's pretty much designed for you to glue the spindles directly to the differential and there's no movement whatsoever. It's purely a static piece. This would be ideal if you're refitting uh, another 222, say one that's on the market or for your own 222 scratch build project and you just want to have the differential detailing. The second version comes with the casting drilled out and supplies you with a brass rod so that you could make the, the universal joints spin like the way I have done here. For the upcoming suspension, since it needs to flex, you the spinnable drive shafts and the, as was mentioned in, earlier in the video, the spindles are spinnable. And once added to the frame, we notice that they spin freely and do not make any contact whatsoever with the frames. This is all important for the alignment on both the front and rear differentials. This, since this is going to add a lot of importance later on when we start assembling the swing arms, especially because the universal shafts must not make any contact whatsoever with the frame. So the alignment is actually pretty crucial. The way the chassis, the way the engine and the drivetrain hook up is as follows. In the rear portion here of the vehicle, you would have the engine. 
The engine then enters into the transmission or the gearbox which would be is going to be mounted over here. The gearbox mounts flush to the, the rear differential and then to power the front differential this is done via a long drive shaft that runs throughout the center length of the vehicle. If we can notice that the front differential is secured to the chassis in two points. It affixes to the ch chassis via this rounded bulkhead over here for the front and then it is then supported with this center strut over here. The center strut is bolted as well as the fasteners over here that connected to the column. This gives the differential a lot of strength and support and will not be popping off or falling out anytime soon. For the rear differential, it's slightly weaker in this condition right now. It is only held to the chassis via this bulkhead over here, via these three fasteners. The piece itself is nice and secured on, however once the transmission gets mounted to this bulkhead over here and connects to the differential, it will really improve the strength of the piece. And that concludes this video update for this 1 6 scale German 222 armored car. Stay tuned for more progress on this model as well as more detailed components. Don't forget to stop by and like us on Facebook and don't forget to check out eastcoastarmory.com for more 1 6 scale tank builds as well as 1 6 scale detail components. Thank you.